morning team, my two minute conviction today is that be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. I'm sure we've all heard regular messages around this idea of self-renewal, about managing your own energy, about looking after yourself so that you can look after others. And I think it's there's a truth that underlies all of that. It's the old metaphor, the oxygen masks falling down from the aeroplane ceiling in the event of a crisis and the instruction to put the mask on yourself before you look after your children or those others struggling around you. And it's helping yourself in the first instance is an enabler to you helping others. You know, somebody who can't swim is very um, unable to help others who are drowning. And so my conviction is be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Stephen Covey calls it sharpening the saw. This idea that there are things that happen every day to you that drain your tank, drain your energy. And there are things that also fill you or energize you and being able to keep the balance right so that you are not depleted is a form of kindness to yourself. And as leaders, there are a lot of takers uh, from you in terms of your, your energy supply. And so you need to be self-led in putting things back into your world that are positive and life-giving so that you can be kind to others. So somebody once gave me tip uh, around three things I should do regularly to be kind to myself. Number one is I should have a regular appointment with a psychologist. Now, not necessarily, strictly speaking, a health professional psychologist, but the spirit of that message is just somebody who I can debrief with, talk to, be authentic around, ask questions of. It could be a mentor, a friend, a family member, somebody whom I can, in a safe place, talk about the things that are bothering me. So number one is have a psychologist. Number two is always have your next holiday booked. Now you don't want to go on holidays as a survival mechanism, as in it's the only thing that keeps you going, but to know that you have planned rest, that there is something to look forward to, there is a break in your schedule and the rhythm of your work to anticipate is a really positive way of being kind to yourself. And the third thing is that you want to have a gym membership. Now, not literally necessarily a gym membership, but that you are exercising regularly, that you are active, that you aren't um, suffering from the passive work overload so many of us endure, that you recognize that a part of living longer and living better is that you keep moving. And so they're the three things I recommend to you uh, to be kind to yourself. Have a psychologist, have your next holiday booked, and have a gym membership, literally or metaphorically. And as you are kind to yourself, you will be more kind to others. That's my two-minute conviction. Have a great